Hey, this is Dave with the Shepherd School, and here's my uh, Bell Siphon Grow Bed. Uh, just like uh, before, I've still got the 55 gallon drum with fish in there. I've still got a pump, and the pump's pumping the water up into my grow bed, okay? Got a new grow bed. In the center, there's a hole for a three quarter inch pipe, and then I've got one of those bulkhead fittings, making a little stand pipe, and then I have this siphon over the top and we'll show better pictures of that in a second but anyway the water constantly flows in into the uh, uh, grow bed and then I've got this gravel filter which is basically just a big PVC pipe with holes cut in it so that the gravel doesn't get in and, and mess up my system well what's happening is the water is filling up and when it gets over the top of that stand pipe that bell pipe over the top of it creates suction and it sucks all the water out of the grow bed, okay? And it's a, it's a constant system, so the water's always pumping. That way I get good turnover in my, uh, in my fish tank. Here it start to work. The water just comes down. I've got a little elbow underneath here. And it just goes down and, and kind of dissipates through that. That's just something that I do. Um, don't know why I just do, do it that way um, and what it does is it lets the water drip out more like raindrops so I'm thinking it's aerating my water a little bit better hear the suction and when it gets done it'll just stop hear the water stop no real moving parts other than the water and air and the uh, the actual pump that's pumping the water up. I'm going to um, show some pictures of, of the component parts and some some little installation uh, pictures and then on the website I'm going to link to a document where I got this idea as well as some troubleshooting tips because with me it took took me a while to get everything to the right uh, height and right relation basically it's 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 double whatever size your uh, standpipe is your bell pipe should be twice that and your gravel guard should be twice that so you know basically with a three quarter inch pipe I should have used an inch and a half uh, bell siphon and then a three inch PVC pipe okay Okay, so the pump pumps the water in, it fills up, and when it gets about two inches from the top of my hydroton, my grow bed medium, this thing will kick on itself and it'll kick it on in just a second. Hear that? Means it's the top of the standpipe. See what I get in? That's the section, and then it'll just fill back up, and it'll keep doing that continuously, which helps keep everything filtered. So. I'm going to cut to some pictures, and you can always see more online at www.tngun.com. Here's all you need to do a bell siphon, and all that was only about 10 bucks. I made a 2x4 uh, stand, and I ended up having to change it up a little bit, but basically drilled a hole and chiseled it out so my pipe could fit. I put the pipe through my uh, stand and found the, uh, the center, marked it, drilled a hole, so I could fit in my uh, uh, bulkhead fitting, little push-through fitting, and that's what it looks like uh, stuck in. Then we put the pipe through to where I wanted it to sit. Just put some elbows, glued it in a little bit. That's how that is. Okay, working on the bell siphon, I took a saw and cut and broke out some places for the water to fit through. Uh, put a, a cap on there. 
drilled a hole, put a hose in to break the siphon, made sure there was no leaks. And then uh, time to make the gravel guard. I just drilled a bunch of holes in a piece of PVC pipe and uh, siliconed it in real good. And you saw how it works. Thank you.